Hi everyone, it's Lisa and I'm back again with another video for Cat Scrappiness. I have a card that I want to share with you using one of the new dies that we have in the shop. It's called the Mandala die and I used it right here on this card. You can see it's got some watercoloring on it. This is the die. It's got a lot of intricate shapes in it and it cuts out just beautifully. And the technique I used on this card to get that watercolor look is called ink smushing. Very technical term there. So let me show you how I did it. I started with a piece of watercolor paper and three colors of Distress Ink. I've got Lucky Clover, Salty Ocean, and Peacock Feathers. So to get started, what I did was I have the Tim Holtz glass mat and some Distress, the Distress sprayer uh, with some water in it, but you can use any sprayer that you want. And I just started by smushing the three colors of ink all over the glass mat uh, pretty close to each other just so that when I spray them they'll run into each other. There's the peacock feathers and finally the lucky clover. I just have a small ink pad of the lucky clover so I smushed it in a few spots so that it would get all over the place. And then I just started spraying the heck out of it so that it would start running. I wanted the colors to kind of run together a little bit and then I took my watercolor paper and literally just smushed it into the ink all over. And this is the fun part because there's really no technical way to do this. Uh, I just used my tweezer to get it up off the mat. It's easier because it kind of sticks to the mat when it gets wet. So you can see all you need to do here is have fun. Pick it up, see where you still need ink, put it back down and smush it. And eventually you'll get ink on your fingers and ink on the back of the paper, but that's okay because we're not going to see the back of the paper. Sometimes I even take the uh, spray bottle and spray the paper to get the ink running just a little bit more. And then back down for some more ink and back up. And you can see now I'm starting to get some even coverage uh, of ink on the paper and a nice gradient of color. So basically this part is just a lot of trial and error. And once I get it where I think I like it, I'm going to take my heat gun uh, and just dry it. And the nice thing about Distress inks is that you can dry your work area and then you can put some more ink down and basically just build up the layers and layers of color. So I decided that I wanted a little more uh, blue so I'm going to take the Salty Ocean. I'm just going to clean up my mat a little bit with a baby wipe. Dry it. Then I'm going to take the Salty Ocean, smush a little bit more onto my workspace and spray it. That way I can just get a little more blue. I felt like I had a lot of green, but need a little more blue. So again, just more playing in ink here, dipping and smushing and back up just to see where I like it. And the nice thing is it's completely up to you. If you feel like you want more green, you can do the Lucky Clover again um, and back and forth. You kind of get the idea. And then I'm going to go ahead and dry it again to see if I like uh, where everything has landed. And the nice thing is you can do any color combination obviously here. If you've got three colors of Distress Ink that you really like and reds or pinks or yellows, um, they all look good once they start dripping into each other. So that's nice. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up my work surface again, which is so easy with the glass mat. All you need is a baby wipe and a towel. And I'm going to take the Mandala die over to my die cut machine and the die really cuts nicely. One pass through the machine and you get this beautiful, these beautiful results. You can see how nice the watercoloring looks because it's very random all over the die. Uh, and then basically from this point on it was pretty simple. Uh, I put down the, um, I, excuse me, <laughs> I took my stitched scallop square die put down a white piece onto the teal card and this card measures 4 by 4 it's a small note card. I also cut out the word love from the I love you shadow dies in silver foil, layered the love die right over the mandala die and stuck the whole thing down on the card. Then I finished off the card with a little bit of a twine bow up at the top to match the color scheme and the card is done. You can see the impressive results um, that you can get with um, just a little bit of work. The watercoloring really gives a nice look. These mandala dies and the mandala frames that we have in the shop right now really lend themselves to this technique. So here's that mandala die one more time. You can see the nice shapes inside of it. Thanks for joining me today guys. I hope you head over to the shop. Oh, look at all the ink on my fingers. See, this is a fun technique. You've got to try this. Thanks for joining me today guys. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.